Okay, starting off with the properties of our cameras, we're going to begin by taking a look at the clear flags property. Now, in a nutshell, what does the clear flags property denote for our camera? Well, the clear flags is going to instruct the camera on what to clear or how far to clear back to every time it gets ready to render a new frame. Now, we have several different uh, types of clear flags. We've got skybox, solid color, depth only, and don't clear. If we start with don't clear and we click it, what's going to happen when we play is it's not going to clear what the last frame was when we uh, next time we draw a frame. Right now, as long as you don't move the camera, everything looks normal. The moment you start moving... Actually, before we even move, I'm going to wait just a moment. Because what we end up seeing... Oh, you want to see the... The yeah. snow <laughs> the snow is going to start looking really cool because the snow is going to be this streak-like effect that you can see taking place in the background. But if we try to rotate up to it, we don't get to see it. Right. And the reason why is every time it, the camera gets ready to render a new frame, it's not clearing the frame before it. It's just drawing over the top of it. That's right. So we just have all this stuff that's stacking up based on depth. Now, this in and of itself, when used like this, is not particularly useful. But there are means by which you could use this information. Not something we're going to be exploring. Now, let's take a look at some of the other uh, clear flags. All right. Depth only is basically going to generate a, a depth map. And it's going to look at your scene. And it's going to clear anything that has depth. And then anything that doesn't have depth isn't going to get cleared. Think of it this way. Inside of our level, our level has game objects, it has terrain, it has trees, and all of those have depth in our world. So all of those objects are going to get cleared the next time it gets ready to render a frame. Now, the way a skybox works, it has no depth. It is drawn first. Because we're doing um, depth-only clearing, our sky is not going to get cleared. Hence, the Hall of uh, Mirrors effect in the sky as you can see now with the snowflakes. The, the streaking snow taking place back there in the background. But everything that has depth, which is our terrain, our trees, all of that is drawing correctly. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and move down to our next clear flag. All right. Solid color is actually going to clear our entire frame to a solid color that we define by that background color. So it's kind of like what's sitting back behind the sky box. Right. Just rendered out as a single color. Right. And we can define that color by clicking on the background. So if we want that to be red for some reason, we can do that. And now when we look up in the sky, the sky is red. Right. So everything is being erased and replaced with that red color. And then it draws all the uh, objects or everything that has depth on top of that. Skybox means it's going to clear the scene, draw our skybox first, and then everything on top of that. That's right. Now, again, not all of these are something that we can u uh, utilize. Uh, very easily. But later on, once we get to our multi-camera setup that I mentioned in the previous video, we will be making use of the depth-only setting as a way to control which camera can see how far. Basically, where one camera stops and the next camera begins. Right. And that's something we'll take a look at in a future video. For now, that covers uh, what your clear flags are. It's, they're not something that you're going to be using with uh, common single camera kind of day-to-day -day use. Uh, they're really a lot more important when you start utilizing multiple cameras in your scenes. They're also used if you start getting into writing your own shaders and getting into post-processing effect or pro post-processing effects. All of these are very advanced topics, mm -hmm. things that we're not going to be covering in this set of videos. Right. So that will wrap things up for this video. Thanks for watching.